and welcome to episode two from scratch our dog cuddler account as you guys could see right over here we sold some items to the pos that we left overnight and we were able to grab a little bit more money so we could purchase ourselves a blowpipe soon we're gonna need to finish a little bit more of our slayer tasks so we could actually buy ourselves a blowpipe and we also still have an ags and a slayer helmet to sell so that's a guaranteed blowpipe upgrade soon enough so we're gonna get started with this episode guys hope you guys enjoy it make sure to like if you want to see any more episodes and don't forget to join the giveaway guys so yeah let's get started with this there was actually a small drop party going on before we go ahead and finish the Slayer task, but we got ourselves two Ranger Boots and two Robin Hood Hats, which is almost 800 PKP and is awesome to add to the bank value. I've died three times on this Anku task and I lost 1200 PKP. I was streaming while I was doing this and it was totally shit because people just kept stream sniping me while I was doing Wilderness Slayer. So I'm probably going to go do some PKing and also we might go do some Zora. <laughs> Down you go, my man. That is what I wanted. Perfect fucking kill. Perfect. Perfect kill. I'm just ready to just PK, guys. <laughs> that was a good kill. That was that was a perfect kill, my man. I must we just PK. 2.8k, nice. Lock one ticks. I'm not good. I'm not such a great peak here, to be honest. I'm a decent one, I'm not great. I'm dead. Woo! Yo, that was lucky. That was lucky as fuck. I quit. <laughs> I, uh, I got lucky there, I'm not gonna lie. Easy G Mall. Oh, gold ring, gold PvP ring, nice. I'm venged. The problem is, I'm venged. Is he gonna hit my venge yet? GG, bud. That was fast. Ooh, emblem. It's fine, I'll just do this. Free DH. We went and saw that the Slayer Hermits were selling for 1k PKP in the shop, so I decided just to purchase them out right over here and hope for the merchants. We're gonna sell them for 1700 each, so with free profit, we actually make ourselves well over 5k PKP, which is an AGS over this small merch right over here. We also purchased an upgrade for our Slayer Helmet, which is the Enchanted Virgin, so we could actually use it for the range boost. Ooh, we just got ourselves a Slayer Key. That's free. 500 pkp and we actually went back to finish this task after the stream and that was an easy 500 pkp just right over there and that's our upgrade for the blowpipe we we're able to purchase it for 19k pkp i forgot to bring the last 1k this dude bought it from the tp for me so thank you so much buddy we bought it off him for 19k pkp that's an awesome upgrade that will enable us to do a little bit more boss and maybe some zora and kraken and also is going to speed up a lot of slayer tasks and zora kill number one what are we gonna get let's hope for the blowpipe on the first kill Come on, let's see what do we got right over here. And what do we get? What the fuck's going on? We got some Zora scales and PK points. And we actually got ourselves how many PK points? 52 PK points. And Zora's drop table actually drops between 50 to 100, which is pretty awesome to be honest compared with other bosses because this kill speed is about 100, 1 minute and 30 seconds. So it's pretty decent. We're going to be camping Zora for a little bit, maybe go for another Slayer tasks after. But I'll see you once we get ourselves some nice loots. And for Zora kill number 3. What are we gonna get, Barbie? Got ourselves a Fury. That's decent. 500 PKP. Pretty simple. Uh, Zora's drop table is actually 1 out of 10, which is 10% chance of getting yourself a Fury. It's pretty decent and it's good money. 500 PKP isn't bad whatsoever. That's a DH set. Just finished ourselves an achievement. Kill 5 Zora for 83 PKP. Zora kill number 7. We got ourselves another Fury. That's 2 Furies and almost 7 kills. And also, Zora's kills are. 
0.25 each so we're getting about an extra 50 pkp each and every drop so we're making 100 decent pkp each and every zora kill oh my god it's either i'm getting really lucky or something but that is back to back zora fury drops always don't forget to vote guys because we just made ourselves another 1300 pkp just from voting every 12 hours and we also got a vote mystery box that we guys could lucky get lucky out of it and also the 200k pkp in our inventory that's for a giveaway that was donated by one of the viewers so thank you so much i don't know now bro for the 200k pkp hookup and also he hooked us up with another 50k so that was a total of 250k hooked up for giveaways so thank you so much i don't know that's shout out for you bro i love you and kill number 15 we actually finished ourselves an achievement of 169 pkp kill 15 zoras the achievement system is incredible for building bank guys i also made a lot off of pking so there's a lot of achievements for pking which is important to start off with that is a slayer task number 11 completed and we have a total of 250 slayer points that is pretty good this task actually made us a big big amount of PKP, almost 1600 from killing Ankus only, which was 120, but I died a couple times, decided to complete it at night, but in general, it was an amazing Slayer task, so I recommend Ankus a lot. We're almost done with the Slayer task number 12, which is the Green Dragons, we got ourselves almost 1k PKP, and also a Slayer key, which is worth another 500, so we made ourselves 1700 PKP off this Slayer task, which is pretty amazing guys 275 points we're close enough to 400 right now to purchase ourselves an enchanted one and sell it in the pk store this is slayer task number 13 completed i know sometimes it might get boring finishing slayer tasks but it's something we need to do so we can build up our bank and buy enough gear so we can do some bosses i was thinking next video we might camp the corporal beast i'm not sure yet but we have to get ourselves 50 zora kills at least but in general we made ourselves 1500 pkp out of this trip it is pretty awesome and it's pretty good we got ourselves another 1400 ice warriors so let's go complete that real quick and we'll be back to you we finished ourselves the ice warrior task i think i'm gonna purchase the like a boss because to be honest it's gonna unlock me some boss layer which is pretty good maybe we can get ourselves some boss layer tasks that we could get ourselves better loots from doing slayer that is pretty good a crazy archaeologist task so let's go complete that and hopefully we can get ourselves some malediction wards and shards first drop of the task we got ourselves an infinity hat that's 250 pkp it's pretty good man it's pretty good crazy archaeologist drops quite often i guess on the third kill we got ourselves an infinity hat which is worth 250 pkp kill number 12 we got ourselves another infinity hat which is pretty awesome that is pretty dope man on the kill number 12 we got ourselves another infinity hat that's 500 pkp total made from the crazy archaeologist so far we just hit the rare drop table of her malediction ward it's worth 1k pkp on this kill we also got ourselves a slayer key guys which is pretty awesome that is 1500 pkp almost 2k pkp made it out of this trip without the pkp points that we're actually getting ourselves i'm also looting the dragon darts because that would save us a little bit more money we save almost 200 to 300 pkp so far from just doing 25 crazy archaeologist kills but in general this is a pretty pretty good boss guys i really suggest you guys doing crazy archaeologists because the drop tables aren't that bad to be honest so far in 25 kills we made ourselves about 2500 pkp from just doing slayer bros what the fuck holy shit we just got another oh my god that's a back-to-back -back drop guys an odium ward and a mad ma oh my oh my god back-to-back -back drop i don't know what's going on with me but my luck is insane man what the hell we just got ourselves a double drop man oh my god how much do we make ourselves off that task we got ourselves these that is almost 2700 pkp not including the infinity hats which is another 500 so we made ourselves 3.5k pkp off this trip which is pretty amazing pretty amazing and that's about it for today's episode guys i hope you all enjoyed it 
of the dog cuddler episode number two we so far made ourselves almost 35 to 40 k pkp i'm also gonna host a giveaway but i decided to do it at the end and see if people actually watch the video till the end if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe like this video comment down your in-game name and don't forget to join my discord because that's where i announced the winners we're hosting a 100k pkp giveaway for two lucky winners of 50k each guys hope you guys all enjoyed this video i love you and i'll see you next time.